What's up guys, Eclectic Nerd here again as always, and welcome back, not necessarily back maybe, but welcome to another very special episode of Space Engineers. So, one of the things that has been on my mind since the introduction of planets is, can you bore through them? So, today I've taken uh, one of my projects here. I was doing a mock-up for one of the mining sh a mining ship I want to do in my single-player world. And I thought this would be the perfect time to maybe do some modifications on it. Obviously, I've beefed up the lights so that we're prepared for going down into the abyss. And I've also fitted these downward thrusters because I'm worried that once I get towards the center of the planet, gravity will actually pull me back through the hole that I bored. So hopefully these th four thrusters will be able to push me through the other side of the planet. So this is probably going to be kind of a slow drag... Um, probably not too many, too much actual commentary going on, and I might do some cuts in between. But this is more for me and to, you know, if something interesting happens, I can share it with you guys. So we're going to get started here. I did a, a test drilling before, and it turned out fairly well. I don't know how long this is going to take. This could take hours, because planets are quite big, and this is a very, very small mining ship. So we'll see. That and they altered uh, mining mechanics, so it's not quite as fast as it used to be. And I have to kind of keep doing some minor adjustments to try and, fit, you know, keep it centered here. Ooh, we're already starting to see a bit of the world poking through. I'm just going to try and keep my gravity marker straight down for the most part. Obviously, there's going to be some variation in it. I should also make a note that I am playing, currently playing in creative mode, mostly for testing purposes, so that I could get the, so I didn't have to gather all the materials and do all the really difficult work trying to get this thing assembled properly. So, I don't think we'll have to worry about actually running out of uranium because I think that that timer has been bouncing around between 20 and 15 minutes for quite some time okay Let's make our second minor adjustment here I am curious as to exactly how big a planet is across like if you were to bore straight through it how many thousand meters it would be Let's see here. This might be easier if I had wheels on this thing to kind of keep it centered as it drilled. But at this, on the other hand, it might be easier without wheels because I can freely adjust my bore as I'm going down. I also wonder what will happen when the gravity suddenly shifts on me. Like, will the gyroscope keep me centered? Or will it try and orient me in the direction of the gravity? See, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different variables going on here. I don't know how, this, how the game is going to react to this. Because I've looked on the forums, and some people say that they've tried digging, and they've fall, literally fallen through the world. So I'm just kind of curious to see what actually happens. I should have put a beacon above, or a GPS marker above me so that I could measure how far I've gone. Let me just see something. How dark is it down here? Wow, it's really dark. Obviously, considering that all I can see is the rays from my spotlights. I also wonder what will happen when I reach the center. Because I've read books about, as a kid, about what would happen if you could actually tunnel through the Earth. And they say that if you could actually reach the core of the Earth, that all of the gravity around you would be equal. So it would almost be like in being in zero G because all of the gravity, like, all of the gravity is, or all of the mass of the Earth is around you. 
So it would create the it would create equal attractive forces all the way around you. So you would basically float at the center of the Earth. Huh. Well, that hasn't happened for a while. Hang on, I'm gonna give this a minute here. Oh wow! I broke the game. <laughs> I broke the game. Okay. All right, welcome back, guys. Just a quick update here from roughly 10,000 meters down. The gravity does appear to be slowly getting less. I think right now it's every 500 meters or so. And starting to notice that every once in a, like every once in a while there's just one little voxel that takes a second to pop in. So I'm guessing that the people that have fallen through, they've been just digging too fast and there hasn't been time for that voxel to kind of pop in. So I'm going to get back at it. This has been several hours in the making already, so I'm going to get back to work, and we'll cut to that in a second. Alright guys, welcome back. It's been a very long time, and I'm only scraping the surface of this planet for the most part. However, I did notice something rather interesting. I'm at about 2,500 meters down, and if you notice the planet gravity, it's gone down a tenth. So I'm thinking that my the planet gravity... Is I can use a sort of a gauge as to how close I am to the to this the core of the planet Because I'm assuming that the closer that I get to the center the less it's gonna be so I just wanted to bring that up um, I'm probably gonna cut back away because this has taken quite a bit just to get this far So I will see you guys once I get a bit closer to the center. All right back after another game crash here and I went back up and stuck a marker up at the up at the entry here, and I'm only 318 meters, which makes me think that this is going to take longer than I expected. It's probably going to take me like all day just to get across this. All right, we back, baby. We back at the grind. I don't know what caught. I don't know what happened, but apparently the game did not like me boring this far into the planet. Maybe it had to render the entire inside of the tunnel, and it really didn't like that for some reason. Oop, uh, let's see here. Oop, uh, I'm, wigg I'm wiggling off bore here. Okay, there we go. Minor course adjustment there. I should have given this thing enough mass to actually stay stable. Because it's... It's not too bad. I've definitely encountered worse, but it's bouncing around a little bit here. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second here so I can get reoriented. Okay. Adjust, adjust, adjust. And there's gold near me. Doesn't like that. Huh? For a second there, it looked like it wasn't even. Oh. We adjust here.
Actually, I think one. Whoa. Lights on. Whoa, that's really bright. Jesus. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I need heavy armor block. Just do a, some quick on-the-spot modifications here in an effort to try and stable. Oh, not there. Try and stabilize this thing just a bit. And it probably would make just much sense to maybe actually drill so I have a cargo container full of stuff. But then I worry about if when I when the gravity does shift, this thing isn't going to be able to pick up its own weight. It's going to be so fat and heavy. Okay, try that. See if that helps. What are we at? 68,000 kilos? Uh, boop. Alright. Alright. Back to, back to work. Welcome back, guys. We are now officially roughly halfway to the core. So, this project has been quite the pain in the butt. Mostly because uh, mining speed is really, really slow. Um, I've had to do some dabbling around with thrusters and manual and thrust override to get kind of a balance there, but it's still very finicky. But I made it halfway, so hopefully we'll see how much longer it takes for me to actually get to the core, and then we'll, I don't know, we'll do something down there. So we're going to cut away. And hopefully, next time I see you guys, it will be from the center of the planet.